first thing you want to do is scroll all the way to the right from the home screen to the settings. You want to click on settings and then you want to scroll down. You want to scroll over to the right to device. Click on device. Next you want to click on developer options. Next thing you want to do is turn on ADB debugging. Also you want to turn on apps from unknown sources and click on turn on. If you have an Amazon Fire TV, it'll have another selection you want to turn that on as well. And once you do that, hit back on your remote or hit the home button. Then we're going to come over to the search icon on the left hand side of your screen. What you can do with your Amazon remote is click on the voice button, downloader, and it's going to automatically bring you to the downloader app. You can also type it in as well. It's just spelled just like you see it on the screen, the orange application. So we're going to click on downloader. Next, we want to do is click on download. Like I said at the beginning, you have to have a um, credit card or debit card linked to your Amazon account or it won't let you install some of these applications. So make sure you do that first. It won't charge you anything. Just have it on linked to your account. So once it fin finishes downloading, you want to click on open. And then you want to click on OK. Next, uh, we're going to click on the URL. And then we're going to type in the URL for the uh, for coding. Now once you type it in, you want to click on go. It's going to download, it's about 87 megabytes. Now once you get to the screen, you want to click on install. So at this point, you're installing Kodi 17.6 onto your Amazon Fire Stick. Once that finishes, you want to click on open.